Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Sanfx YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 slash NFC custom ROM. As you can see, a rice dried version, 3.5 pixel. This is Fry's version, July 5, 2022, and the Android version is 12L. Build version, you can see a rice dried 12.1. Latest build is and kernel user is 4.14.268 Silicon T kernel has been used. This is the July 14th latest build and I have been running the CPU throttling test. You can see here from last five minutes, four seconds and seven milliseconds. The maximum is 159 and average is 155 and minimum is 130 million JPS. And good thing is you haven't noticed any thermal throttling in this particular app. It's showing like this. That's very good sign of. This particular ROM. Many people are already became a fan for Rice Dread. That's cool. It's fine. The ROM is really good enough. You can definitely try it out as a daily driver. If you want to see further more video like everything, stay tuned till end of the video. I'll be explaining everything in detail regarding this ROM. You can see here. This is the quick settings panel. You get everything is working fine. No problem. And in the edit section, you get plenty of options here. If you want, you can drag them and use it. Power button, you get advanced restart and some of the options from here. Into settings, you get these kind of basic settings. You get connected device, Wi-Fi and network customization. You get buttons, as you can see, plenty of customizations are available. You can see here and lock screen settings. You get always on display schedule also. You can enable or disable from here. Media cover art again, plenty of options here also. You can choose the filter, battery information, lock screen. Shortcuts and tap to slip fingerprint, authentication vibration, and error vibration, and the wake and lock and ripple effect power menu. You can enable or disable from here. In the miscellaneous setting, this is very important. Game space is also added here. Just you need to turn it on and enable here, and like adding the BGM. Then it will be added here. Again, you can go into settings and use angle experimental. Prefer more standard. You can keep it performance if you want a very good performance. So keep note that the battery will drain faster. I will be showing within a couple of minutes. You can stay with me and swipe to screenshot. Is there pocket detection? Unlimited photo storage. If you want in Google Photos, if you want high. I mean, high quality pictures to save with unlimited photo storage. That's available and higher FPS in games. You can unlock from here. This is very important. People just skip the video and start seeing only the BGM gameplay, and they will ask me how did you enable the 90 FPS? I enabled like this. You need to see entire video. Navigation settings. You get navigation bar, fix all animation, and IME button space. Show arrow keys while typing. Layout, invert layout, back long press, home long press. You can customize them. For separate navigation customization, notifications again here also notification headers, red tickers, noisy notification, force start button, less boring mode, heads up timeout. You can adjust this from five seconds to further and blink flashlight for incoming call. It's disabled. You can customize some of the options. You can see from here. And again, there are if you enable that, you will get some more like ignore D and D and blink rate also. You can adjust from here. And battery light is given here. Again, there are customization plenty here. Notification light also. Artwork media background. If you enable again, you can customize further more. These things are given in the notification settings and quick settings. You can see here again plenty of customization. Battery circle and battery percentage. You can choose battery estimation, brightness slider, position also. You can position them. Again, animation style also you can customize. Lot more customization you can just read on the screen. Coming to sound settings again here, volume steps you can count from here. You can keep it like that and vibrate and connect, call waiting and disconnect. You can enable or disable from here. Into status bar again here logo you get. You can position them and you can change the style also. There are plenty of presets. Here available and network traffic monitor is given. Old style signal icon, data disabled igniter, 4G icon, roaming indicator, combined signal icons, and Bluetooth battery status, battery bar, battery percentage. This is like in this status bar. If you enable battery cycle, it will be available in the quick settings panel for always. There was some other settings like this one. The quick settings. This is different, and this status bar customization is different. Do note that. And 4G icon, data disabled indicator, those things are given in this ROM. Each and every customization has been added and improved in this particular ROM user interface. Again, here 
there is no like full screen apps if you don't have any app is playing in full screen you can enable from here navigation bar style you can choose from here monitor settings use custom color option is there but there is no option of pitch black dark condition you can change some of the customization regarding the user interface now coming to normal settings here display and brightness you can see here lcd features i recommend to keep it off whenever you are playing a high end games ambient display is given display color calibration there are some options you can enable or disable from here and even you can customize smooth display is given you can manually switch 1690 or 120 just here smooth display just enable that rotation settings is given colors keep it whatever you want rgb strength you can customize night light feature is there dark theme as i said before there is no pitch black condition in this rom that's the one thing they need to work on that if they want to give better experience in my opinion what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below coming into apps here you get all the basic settings special app access and default apps you can choose from here this all the settings and even security unlocks you get fingerprint and face unlock smart lock is also given i'll show with animated location is working fine utilities you get this kind of accessibility menu which is a handy feature without using the actual buttons you can virtually use them and even you can without dragging also you can use the what this thing the quick settings panel you can use using the accessibility menu switch access timing control system controls and magnification talkback features are also enabled from here privacy settings sound and vibration let me go into sound and vibration you get me sound enhancer here you can just enable you can choose the headphone type and preset and even the smart select scene also you can choose from here and all the basic sound settings are given in this now let me show you the fingerprint unlock as you can see it's quick enough to unlock your smartphone using the fingerprint which is very quick in my opinion and let me show you the face unlock it's also really really quick in my opinion these are the settings and all and i will show you the charging animation too you can see charging slowly charging rapidly it is showing charging rapidly here and then but i don't think so what was the previous version okay it is working charging rapidly i mean the fast charging in this rom is possible just it takes time and coming to home settings and everything you get widgets and all the android 12 l style that's not the problem let me start with the dialer let me increase a little bit of volume here and keep it to general mode and haptics is really good in this particular rom that you need to adjust manually if you want anything more you can see here one nine eight you can direct video call here and there is a call recording feature also that's how it is given in this particular rom which is very good working fine each and everything i will show you with benchmark results starting with geekbench scores it's fine enough nothing great here 558 is the single score and multi score is 1622 and the kernel user is linux 4.14.288 silon t kernel has been used here and regarding antidote benchmark here also it's very good score healthy score 3,49,744 it's not great enough but it's still good in my opinion 2.2 degree celsius was the temperature raise and 3 percentage of battery drop has been noticed during this testing drm info status you get level 1 certification you can watch all the ODT application in hd resolution that's not the problem here i haven't installed a safety net status let me install and you can see the internet speed also i have here 100 mbps geo giga fiber connection working fine even with mobile data connection carrier aggregation everything is working fine no problem in that case you can see here it will get passed you can use all the ott applications sorry the payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm everything going to be work fine in this particular ram and camera application you get this kind of camera it's fine you can utilize that camera application but if you want something advanced you can try out gcam port so i am really trying some gcam port which will work good for pocket i already have one thing like arnav build gcam if you are 
watching my videos from the beginning you will be getting that that's fine if on something other i am really looking forward for that i will bring it out and nx camera support is also required that is also under progress i will be definitely making a gcam videos for poco x separately keep a look on this channel and audio effects you get this is a very interesting feature it acts as dolby atmos or anything like that it will definitely going to enhance your audio experience in this particular from maps everything is working fine i hope expand everything let's see the bgma gameplay and wind of this video you can see here the bgma the volume is 68 percent and graphics and audio you can see here smooth plus 90 fps option is enabled and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon whenever i upload a new video you'll get notified and if you like the video give it a like many people watching my videos but not subscribing to my channel have a subscribe to my channel you can see here i tried playing sanok but it took more than 10 minutes for four times so i went back to this new mode in air angle because the matchmaking taking too much time in sanok i hope you guys understand that i don't know why it is taking time but that's how it is and the gameplay is fine even in the previous version also you can have it as a high performance rom that was the caption i made in the previous video i mean the title most of them aware of that and a few of them using as a daily driver as a gaming rom also yes it's fine but the performance in normal i mean without gaming the normal day-to-day -day use is really good with gaming let me show you you can see here the left side you get let me do one thing I'll bring that FPS count. No, it's visible. Fine. You can see the real time FPS count, and there is a gaming mode also. And this, okay. No enemies around me for this time. Hope I get any gun. Okay. Okay. There was a bit lag in this particular ROM. Set the same graphics here. Smooth plus 90 FPS only. You can see the real time FPS. At least in BG, this TDM, how it handles, and the volume button you can see here. okay in tdm generally i don't face any problems if i face that rom i will be not mentioned it as a gaming rom but in classic matches it depends guys it depends how many of the players will land but still it was playable in 90fs in classic match you guys have seen luck factor is also a matter a lot while playing a games like this not just the device and the internet connection even you need a little bit of luck also in the game i'll come back here and this are the performance of rice dread latest version for poco x you can see here this is really smooth this i mentioned in the previous video also of this version the ram management may not be the best but still you can see here it's good that's all guys you can definitely try it as a daily driver and you can play bgma like kind of games even call of duty also you can definitely try it out this is my review on rise droid for poco x slash nfc meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now